Influencer trips have been a huge topic of conversation lately, mainly because they always end in some kind of drama. A new influencer trip happened, but it wasn't your typical beach vacation. Shein decided to take a group of influencers on what some people are calling a PR trip to visit their new factory and things got messy. These influencers are now receiving so much backlash over their Shein positive videos and people are pretty upset. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Whenever you go on TikTok and scroll for a bit, you'll usually come across a video of some influencer doing a massive Shein haul. Usually these hauls have a few hits and a lot of misses, and we all know what happens to those clothes. Normally you would donate unwanted clothes, but with the state some Shein clothes arrive in, a lot of them end up in the trash. I've seen influencers do these massive hauls and then you never see them wear them ever again. If you're someone who loves to go thrifting, then you've probably noticed in recent years, the thrift stores are like 80% Shein. I mean, at least people are trying to recycle these clothes, but what happens when no one wants them and they sit on the rack for months and end up being moved out? It's an endless cycle with no sign of slowing down. In 2022, Shein became the world's largest fashion retailer, and that's a big problem for our environment. With the cost of living being at an all-time high, many people can only afford to shop places like Shein, and that's why this conversation can get tricky. A lot of the time when someone brings up how bad Shein is, normally people will say, well, I'm sure you've bought clothes from H&M or Zara. Most of these stores are unethical, but we don't have to have an all or nothing mindset. Cutting back on buying from places like these, even a bit, has an impact. And with Shein being the biggest offender out of all of them, they're the ones that have a target on them right now. Shein is producing clothes at an alarming rate, way above anything any other competitors are doing. Medium.com touched on this and they wrote, while well, fast fashion places like H&M and Zara introduce new pieces by tracking trends and going through a three-week process to come out with new designs, Shein is able to use real-time data to cut this process to five to seven days. Their own CMO has revealed that the company drops 700 to 1,000 new styles daily. For years now, Shein has been under fire for not only the impact they have on the environment, but also the conditions their employees work under. Rumors of Shein making people work like 75-hour work weeks, using child labor, and working in unsafe environments are all issues they've been accused of. Channel 4 did a documentary where they went undercover in one of Shein's factories, and the conditions were shocking. Glamour covered the documentary, and they wrote, It's important to note that under Chinese labor laws, workers cannot work more than 40 hours per week. But in this shocking insight, workers in both factories worked 18 hours a day, with shifts starting at 8 a.m. and finishing in the early morning hours. It was also found that workers were given only one day off per month, with a Xi'an worker explaining in the documentary, there's no such thing as Sundays here. The undercover reporter noted, the factory has a very inhumane system. In one factory, workers are paid roughly $500 a month to make 500 items of clothing a day. In the other, workers are paid about four cents an item. Both factories only give workers one day off per month and workers cite consistent 18 hour days. One worker clocked in for work at 8 a.m. and said he wouldn't be leaving until 3 a.m. This news is horrifying, but it's unfortunately not surprising because it's literally not possible to sell clothes for $2 and make it a $100 billion profit without exploiting workers. You cannot list 6,000 new clothes to a website every single day humanely. With all these negative reports making their way into our media, Shein decided they needed to do something. They knew influencers were the ones pushing their brand out there and making them a multi-billion dollar business in the first place. So why not use influencers to also save their reputation? Shein decided to follow in the footsteps of Tarte and hold their own little brand trip. But this wasn't a trip to the beaches of Turks and Caicos. This trip was to a Shein factory located in China. Shein took this group of influencers for a tour of one of their factories and they were posting all about it. A3. He just, he just pulled up. My mouth, I'm still picking it up off the ground. It's so big. 
today we are at the Shein Warehouse where the products come directly from this facility to your home. I went on a brand trip to China with Shein. I still can't believe it. To the hotel, I freshened up and then went to go have some lunch. Here is my cute little outfit. And again, I got to enjoy the view while eating. So it's day two in Guangzhou with Shein. And today we got to visit one of Shein's leading factories where they produce the clothing. I'm not gonna lie. I really expected it to look like it does in the movies, like really dark and dingy. But I was really surprised to see each piece handled with care. And it was also nice to see our Shein designers there and so happy seeing their products being put into production. And these influencers all have a good amount of followers. One of them has over 4 million. And the one we're mainly going to be focusing on today is Danny DMC with nearly 300,000. Danny has been building a relationship with Shein for a few months now. Back in February, they took her on a brand trip to Lake Tahoe. Okay, so you walk in. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. Act out bed with all the Shein stuff. They've been sponsoring some of her videos. And earlier this month, they invited her to China to see a factory. I'm saying a factory because this is literally just one out of thousands and thousands of factories that Shein uses all across the world. In all these videos they're posting, we're only seeing what Shein wants us to see. In May, Danny posted a video talking about how she had dinner with higher ups from Xi'an and how they apparently answered all the questions she had. Get ready with me for a brand dinner with the president of the company. Okay, so tonight I am going to catch steak and I am meeting with the president of Xi'an. Do I believe that Xi'an has made mistakes? Absolutely. Do I think that they are capable of coming back and being a better company and a better brand? Yes. I'm not going to go on a trip blindly. I had a lot to say the entire trip. I was asking tons of questions of the entire team and they were really excited for me to sit down with the president. And then I got sick. So they made it a point to make sure that I could meet the president and we're having a dinner tonight and I can't wait to pick his brain because you guys know I keep it 100. I am very straightforward. I say what's on my mind and I do not play about what I bring to my community. I also would like to make it very clear that I would never in a million years work with a company that has child labor. So let's just get that out of the way immediately. You know, some influencers may disagree with me, but I, especially being an activist for humanity, I believe that we have a lot of social responsibility as influencers. They ended up signing a deal and this creator made sure to know that Xi'an was paying her well. And I got invited to this dinner that the heads of Shein were at and I got so much good information and I want to share it with you guys. We've come together, signed a contract, I signed a deal with them and they've come all the way correct. So that's the first thing I want to note is that they take care of their creators and especially as a plus size creator, I am about 60% of the time underpaid and they have definitely not underpaid me and taken great care of me. Which is so ironic considering the fact that Shein pays the people who actually make their clothes literally next to nothing but as long as she's being paid right the video leads up to her big brand trip with Xi'an to China Danny posted a video to her Instagram claiming to be an investigative journalist who uncovered the truth about Xi'an this China trip has been one of the most life-changing trips of my life. Getting to see the whole process of Shein clothing from beginning to end with my own two eyes was so important for me. Making off the trip by heading to the factory of the leading manufacturer for Shein was the perfect way to start. I was really excited and impressed to see the working conditions. The next day, we headed to the Shein Innovation Center. This facility blew my mind. It's over 600,000 square feet. There's so much technology. And Shein is just such a developed and complex company. And it was so beautiful to see firsthand. I was able to interview a woman that worked in the fabric cutting department. And you guys know me. She's an investigative journalist. Journalist. So I asked her all of our questions and she answered them honestly and authentically. She was very surprised at all of the rumors that have been spread in the U.S. She told me about her family, her lifestyle, her commute, her hours. Our last stop was to the Shein Warehouse. This place was massive. It's about 84 acres and almost fully run by technology and automation. I was really impressed by the extensive checklist that each item had to go through before it shipped off. I think my biggest takeaway from this trip is to be an independent thinker, get the facts and see it with your own two eyes. There's a narrative fed to us in the U.S. and I'm one that always likes to be open-minded and seek the truth truth so I'm grateful for that about myself and I hope the same for you guys. She wrote a caption next to her video which says it's hard for me to even put into words how this trip has impacted me. Not only getting to see with my own two eyes what the entire process of Xi'an clothing looks like from beginning to end, but also getting to experience China, surrounded by people born and raised there, completely expanded my mind and just further confirmed how important travel and perspective is. 
You have to remember, our country is filled with so much prejudice. We want to believe that we're the best and no one else can be better. But what if we're just different and no one's better than another? We can accept our differences and be intrigued by the individuality of it all. I'm so grateful for Dora, who answered all my million questions and taught me so much about her country and Xi'an. I feel more confident than ever with my partnership with Xi'an US. There are so many companies not taking half the initiative Xi'an is. They are aware of every single rumor, and instead of staying quiet, they are fighting with all their power to not only show us the truth, but continue to improve and be the best they can possibly be. I feel happy knowing that I have such amazing people making the clothing I wear and that they are just as passionate with their work as I am. I am so grateful I got to see them in their environment, speak to them, and embrace them. I just have no words. She did say that they paid her good, but it's hard to believe they paid her this good. I don't understand how you can go to some innovation center surrounded by high ups from Xi'an who are just trying to do damage control and think what they're feeding you is the truth and push it as 100% fact to your audience. Does that mean the Channel 4 documentary where they sent actual factory workers undercover to multiple Xi'an locations and dealt with horrible conditions is all lies? Are all the reports from media outlets and news stations about these conditions and safety issues fake? Or is this influencer being used to clear Xi'an's name? I was in works with talking to Xi'an about how I can bring information from the brand to the consumer and how I can help them with debunking a lot of these rumors and that's why they paid her so well the presenter from that channel 4 documentary actually commented under her post and she had a lot to say i hosted the channel 4 documentary that did the undercover investigation into factories that provide clothes to xian there is video evidence of laws being broken they aren't rumors it is very sad that you have decided to let yourself be used to defend these practices. Please do watch the documentary. It's called Untold, Inside the Xi'an Machine. And the comments don't get much better from here. We had people writing, This is disappointing. An ounce of research, independent research, and you would know you're getting duped and helping to spread misinformation. But that check is more important, I guess. You're not an investigative journalist. You're a puppet for a company that is actively destroying our planet and exploiting vulnerable workers. You're deluding yourself if you believe that the sanitized version of a tour they gave you is the real reflection of the company. I would strongly urge you to do more research and consider deleting this post and rethinking your relationship with this brand. These aren't rumors though. It's literally impossible for a company to turn out the massive amount of product they do on such a quick timeline without violating massive labor laws and environmental protections. It's data, not rumors. Life exists beyond social media, and a lot of reporting and research proves that they're a nightmare corporation. And things aren't much better over on TikTok. So many people are responding to this creator's brand trip and calling her out for spreading the misinformation. Just ignoring for a second the fact that this influencer has obviously been paid to say these things. I feel as if though she's almost gaslighting the viewer because ultimately she's saying if you believe this narrative, these rumors, then you're not an independent thinker. You're just believing the rumors. It really grinds my gears, but she clearly made a bag, so. So now these creators are on this brand trip and they're basically brought to this innovation center that looks incredible. The workers are super happy. Workers are sharing that they get to take naps after lunch and basically what it looks like is this is a PR stunt for Xi'an. Let me tell you that was a total PR stunt. Factories in China have been automated like that now for close to 15 years. So what Xi'an is doing is not innovative, even though the influencer thinks that uh, this is a very innovative process. It's not. It's well behind what all other factories have had for many, many years. Plus, we all know all the conditions that Xi'an workers work under. We know the pollution that happens with Sheen. We know their business model is ba based very much on the Zara model of producing as much as possible for the lowest cost as possible. So there's no way any of that could be sustainable. It's all greenwashing PR madness. So it makes me really sad. This creator did end up responding to the backlash and pretty much said that she didn't sell out. She denied being paid to say anything and tried to use the excuse that most of us do have clothes made from unethical companies. I'm not the one. So here's the deal, okay? One, stop telling me to kill myself, okay? Second, I know exactly who the I am. I know exactly what the 
been doing. Third, could never, will never be a sellout ever in life. I was not paid for any trip or to say anything. I have so much more awareness of what's going on behind the scenes than any of you ever could because you don't see what's going on. 90% of what's in your closet is made in horrible conditions. So you have no right to say anything. Second, I've seen stuff with my own two eyes. If you think it's propaganda, that's cool. Again, you've never been to China and you've never seen what's going on. There is so much xenophobia in with everything you guys are saying and that's what I really learned in China. We are fed propaganda. We are fed a whole line, a whole narrative in the US about Chinese people and Chinese culture and that China trip honestly changed my life. Like I said, I'm not the one. I know who I am. I know exactly what I'm doing. And to be a pioneer, you got to take a lot some time. So it is what it is. Shein has been posting this creator all over their social media. So I'm sure they're in deep with each other. Clearly, she feels very strongly about her beliefs. But it's just unfortunate that more research wasn't put into this brand deal. When you have a large audience, it's so important to research the brands that you work with. Influencers have so many resources and connections to shop ethically and to promote ethical brands to their audience, so there's really no excuse. Another influencer who went on the trip with over 4 million followers also posted a very similar video to the other creator. We drove two hours out of the city to the Shein Innovation Factory, where basically they produce the clothing samples to ship off to the warehouses to make. Upon interviewing the workers, a lot of them were really confused and taken back with the child labor questions and the lead in the clothing questions because they basically said our kids want to be on social media just like y'all they're not working in factories and our clothing grows through rigorous testing before production when i ask them questions like what does your work week look like how many hours do you work what's your commute most of them work like eight to six and their commute is like 10 to 15 minutes just like normal i expected this facility to be so filled with people just slaving away but i was actually pleasantly surprised that a lot of these things were robotic and honestly everybody was just working like normal like chill sitting down they weren't even sweating we were the ones sweating wedding walking through the whole facility. This isn't the only factory Xi'an uses. This is their innovation center. Of course, it's gonna look amazing and have staff ready to tell you what you wanna hear. Why don't they take them on a tour and show them the factories that they partner with who are making the 700 to 1,000 new items a day? Why don't they show them the people who are being paid per item of clothing instead of per hour? They're showing them what they want to see, and for some reason, these influencers can't or are choosing not to see past that. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think this was incredibly irresponsible of these influencers to go on this brand trip and push this whole narrative for Xi'an? Or do you think they're doing nothing wrong? Let me know and I'll see you next time.